Minis, I hope you all had a good Christmas and a happy new year and this is my first video on this channel in 2013 it's quite exciting and today I'm going to do my December favourites I've got a few fashion-y things and a few makeup bits so let's get on with it first thing is this hand cream and I got this free in a glossy box and it's by Crabtree and Evelyn I think that's how you say Evelyn I don't know if, I don't know whether it's Evelyn or Evelyn Evelyn Oh god, I can't even say it now. But by Crabtree and Evelyn, that's how I say it. It's from the Himalayan Blue range and I literally love this. Best hand cream that I've used. It's It just soaks into your hand straight away and it doesn't leave like a sticky res residue on your fingertips. So you can like pick up your phone and start texting and whatnot and it doesn't get everywhere. It's really lovely and moisturising. Next beauty items are these two nail polishes. The first one is... Deep Red by Maybelline and it's for their Forever um, Strong Pro range. Since I tried out my first Maybelline nail polish in the summer which was Ceramic Blue, I absolutely just fell in love with them, really really good quality so I wanted to get another one and I thought red was a classic colour. Um, I got it sort of end of November time so you know it felt Christmassy and yeah, I've been really enjoying that. And the next nail polish is this American Apparel one and it's their Nail Liqueur. I got it in the colour L Esprit. I don't know. But it's my first ever American Apparel nail polish and for one I love the packaging. The packaging is awesome. And this was £7 in Selfridges but I think online they're £9. And I got it in lilac which is weird because it's not a very wintry colour but I love my lilac nail polishes. I've got it on today. I've got loads of different lilac nail polishes and some of them have been too pale, too dark and my favourite one was my Essie one. And this is pretty much the same colour as that but it just it is just like a little bit better and I don't know why like the colour is almost it almost like pops it's like a vibrant it's not like neon but it just it just pops and it's almost like they've mixed a little bit of Maybelline ceramic blue in with it because it has a really nice sort of cornflower blue undertone it's really nice I love it the quality oh dear god it is amazing best quality nail polish I've tried this last me a good five six days I'm gonna buy so many more of these I l literally love it my next favorite this month is a really really random one basically I came across this website where you can get your Instagram pictures are printed off onto magnets so you can put them on like your fridge or whatever and I was like well I don't have a fridge to really put them on like I have I have a fridge but I still live with my dad so there's not really any point but then I came across another company that just printed off your Instagram pictures on just paper so I printed off this big stack of pictures and I can't remember the name of the company but I'll link them in the down bar you can pick between two sizes I got the 4x4 I think it is and they're like this size and then you can get the next size down which and they're literally like that big and you get a sheet of 24 for like I don't know I think it's like $12 I could be totally wrong and what I've started to do with these is sort of put them on my wall I've got like a little owl hangy thing that I have like next to me here so I've already put my like my favorite ones up and then what I thought I might do is I might actually get an album and just fill it with my favorite Instagram pictures so every couple of months print off my most recent ones that I love of me and my mates and stuff and just fill up an album and just do that constantly for all the years to come because I've realised that maybe for the last seven years of my life I don't have any physical prints of like photos it's all been like digital and like on my computer and computers die photos get deleted you forget about them so I just thought it would be really nice to actually do it the old fashioned way and just print out my pictures the ones that I've just picked off at the top here are like examples of ones that I got printed off so that's me and Lucy uh, me and Estee from Essie um, Button and it's me and Doug at the ice rink on my birthday this year. Me and Doug at nightclub. Me and Amber being a uh, very special. And uh, me and Doug on my birthday meal. <laughs> me and Doug on a tandem bike. Never thought I'd see the day. That was when me in Wales. That's Doug skating. CJ attempting to um, help me on a longboard. And uh, yeah. So they're just a few that I've printed off and I've just printed off loads like that. Love these. So I've got a few clothing bits to show you. The first one is this belt and it's from Topshop. I'll link it in the down bar because I think they still got it online. Really, really like it. It's just nice tan colour, nice sort of sort of like rustic uh, buckle and I, I just absolutely love it. This is going to be like my go-to belt this year I think. Next thing is another Topshop item, just something that I thought I'd randomly chuck in and it's these polka dot jeans. From Topshop, I think they're from 
the petite section. Um, they don't have them online. I have looked for you guys because I wanted to link them on my blog. And they don't have them online, but just walk into your store, they might have them. And um, I like that they're on sort of like a grey, black sort of distressed denim because I feel like that it doesn't make it too girly in a weird way. <laughs> um, yeah, I love these and they're really, really comfy. The next clothing item is a really random one and it's this. And you're probably thinking, what? Is that this is a thermal and I got four of them from M&S and I got a pack of two with the long sleeved ones and then my other ones are in the wash but they're basically just this but without the sleeves in case I want to wear like short sleeve dresses and I can still have like the top underneath literally these thermals have been my lifesaver this month I know in England it's not massively cold but I don't like to feel the cold, I hate the cold, I would like to be nice and toasty. Put these under everything that I wear and all it does is, it doesn't really like heat you up, but it just retains like your body heat. And also you know when like it's really windy outside and you have like a cotton t-shirt on or like a um, jumper that's not very tightly knitted and the breeze goes straight through the item of clothing and you get that like, chill on your body and it's horrible. This completely stops like the breeze getting to like your skin. Last products I want to mention are the Aussie shampoo and conditioner and I've got the Miracle Moist ones and it's for um, dry damaged hair. So I got these because I wanted to like try out some new shampoos and conditioners and a lot of you guys said to try out the Aussie ones and I absolutely love these. I used to hate the smell of these when I was like little but I like I really really like the smell of them now. They do what they say like I've had moisturizers and shampoos and conditioners and they've not really done anything but these honestly do moisturize my hair so well and I've been using them for over a month now and I've noticed that the ends of my hair even though they're still very straggly like the split ends seem to have like disappeared and like got really like smooth and shiny and soft for anyone that's like a new viewer I like my straggly ends like I know a lot of you would be like well just cut your hair then if you don't want split ends like, I don't care about the split ends or anything like that I like having them there purely because I like the grungy look. If I get my hair cut, it just goes crazy. So that's my December favourites. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what your favourites were this month. And I hope you've had a good Christmas and New Year's. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! And I said, hey, girl, you know I'm not good at making pretty talk. I'm leaving in the morning. I hope you know you won't